This must be the place. I'll have to look. I Clear. Something ominous from the leaf back the tacit there, field. But I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. Grover. Yes, something Yang Yang. terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. I, I feel like this whole place is a... I, there's a bad feeling about this entire, like, world. Get out of my game, fools! Fight for me. Dummy funny? I choose you. At me, bros. Target confirmed. Sir, strike. Here we go again. Keep. Target confirmed. We'll leave the tap. Leave me alone, bro. Her charge. No one picks on Ungar's friends. Oh Here my go. god. What is going on? Encore is like a little devil child. Holy shit. Target confirmed. She's Unleash like a devil fans. child. Here we go again. Target confirmed. Yo! Sir. <laughs> what just happened, dude? What just happened? Dude, Encore is literally like a little like a little demon. All right, we're gonna purge this tacit field. Dude, that was a fun like little little fight there. Oh, we're starting I think act three. Found something rover. What did we find? Investigate the three locations. Okay. Watch out. Watch out! That's the... Uh, what? Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? I don't know. Brother. Brother. Help. Help. Um, talk to it. It's asking for help. Brother. Br brother. Help. Help. Who is your brother? Help. Help is your brother's name? It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. You don't say, Yang Yang. You sure about that? Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. Okay. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles are these words the last cries of someone innocent who is behind this twisted plot who knows? Psychos! Yang Yang crouched down hand the task cord uh, touched as she focused on the streams sorry filled her expression blah 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 I'm sorry. Are you talking to it, Yang Yang? What's going on? No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. Do you? F can you fill me in? It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. There's nobody here in the village, though. Something truly awful must have happened here. And the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Okay, how long ago? Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway. Concealing it? I feel like it's like out in the middle of the open. 
I've run through here when I'm exploring. How is it concealed? Can people not see it except for me? There must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. Then let's get out of here. I'll inform Chuzia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? S sure. Sorry. I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. Uh, no, not at all. I believe you. This is where Jinsi token has. That's right. That's where the token to the token told us to come here. Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. Okay. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. Can I have it as a pet? The area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look, there are many footprints here. Footprints. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. Did they die? What happened? Ritualistic wooden plaques. Ritualistic? Were they like trying to summon demons or something? But why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. They seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. Okay, let's go. That's weird. These cards. Ah, uh, I see. Cards? Pokemon cards? Yu-Gi-Oh cards? What kind of cards are we talking about? The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. Fraxidus? The Fraxidus? That's what I said. Yes. Fraxidus. I don't know much about the Fraxidus. So many organizations. But as an I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. Ooh. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Fusing humans and tacit discords. That doesn't sound good at all. We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called Artificers. Artificers? There's so many, like, groups. Above the Artificers are the Overseers. Overseers. with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. Well, both of them are bad. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. Insane? A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxida's related cases. And where can we go find him? They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. Scar. I remember Scar from the beta. I do, but I can't remember exactly what his deal was. So, but I do remember him from the beta. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of? Did he, like, just murder everybody that lived here? No, he, he said he wanted to fuse humans and discords, right? So I guess that's what he did to... The discords, like that little discord that we saw earlier. What is that noise? It sounds like a, sounds like a squirrel. Huh? Is that a cat? Oh, look at the little kitty! I want a cat for myself. <laughs> and, oh, where'd she go? Yang Yang! Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent... Okay, that got cut off. Dialogue got cut off. He spent so much time on it, he said. Scar. Bro, he looks awesome. He looks great. I love his design. You are Scar, you psychopath. What happened to the people if here? If you need to hear it from me, then 
Yes, I am Scar. Hi, Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. I feel like he should have went like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the cruel and twisted maniac. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, little girl? Where is Yang Yang? We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? No. What happened to her? The girl, she's going to sway your judgment. Okay, what do you want? Give her back to me. Yeah, what do you want? Don't Tell me worry. what you want. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. Okay, Yang Yang is not irrelevant, but I do like your design. He looks like a complete, he looks like a badass. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. Yes, how did you know? So, it's true. Oh, whoops. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. You followed me? So you noticed. Oh, oh that's right. Flattered. He was like the one that was in um, the city and up in the tree and stuff like that. But no, I thought it was a female character too, right? No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. He looks menacing. And I love it. I love a good villain. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Okay. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. How so? You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. Was that why? Maybe the that was why they were so nice to me at the beginning. Place. I did not touch anything. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. Maybe that's why they were super nice at the beginning of the game, because they they know, but they're not telling us who we are, like we're a valuable person, and they want to get us on their side. We don't know. We don't know who's right. That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear friend. Oh, and yeah? I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. I feel like he'd be, like, fun to party with. Sorry, the truth about to face sometimes. Okay. What is the truth? As if you were any different. You're just trying to make me join your side. Well, we can hear him out. We don't know. You could say I'm looking forward to your choice. So we're going to have to choose? My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding. Nothing more. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. An abandoned village is what I see. Craziness. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface. And our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Are you trying to take her out on a date? What is going on? What did the Fractidius do to this village? Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Yang Yang said you d that's who did it. Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. What happened? I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. Of course you won't. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? Okay, I remember in the beta, with the zipper, they got rid of Scar's zipper. There was a thing, I remember, he had this weird zipper right on his crotch. They got rid of the zipper. I remember that was like a big, like, focus. It was hilarious, too. So go ahead. What do you see? Um, a large-scale ritual. People were injured. A strange tacit discord. I see all three. A large-scale ritual. Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, are they like summoning the demons? You've drawn. 
Um, something killed them. The Fraxidius manipulated the villagers. The villagers killed each other? Manipulated? Ah, how typical. The age-old tale of savage wolves and helpless lambs. Good and evil as clear as day. It's a tired story that people cling to in their mundane lives. Oh, how it keeps them in check. How long ago did this crazy stuff happen? But let me ask you this. Do you truly believe the real world can be that simple? Let me give you a couple more tips. Okay. The truth is far more complicated than you think. Uh, of course it is. Why can't it be simple for once? First, who are the players in our tale? I don't know. An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Innocent girl. Next, what makes up our main plot? I don't know. False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Okay, sounds a little psycho there. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. Okay. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Why can't you just tell me? Why can't you just tell me, Scar? I'm gonna talk to you again, bro. Talk to me. Huh? What is it? Are you back for some chit chat? Just tell me the truth, all of it, you. I, I mean, I do like his design. <laughs> you psychopath. No, I refuse. Oh, and don't try to threaten me. You're not in a place to bargain, remember? Oh yeah, you have Yang Yang. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. Ooh, what if I hit attack him? <laughs> Come on, no need to get so worked up. I see you're itching for a fight, but our game isn't over yet. Strike now and risk being crippled. And what, what if a I cripple shame you? it would be to miss out on these crucial clues right in front of you. What if I cripple him? After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? All right, I'll go look for clues. Let's go look for these clues that he wants. Clue number one. How many clues do I gotta find? It doesn't say. A crumpled page from a children's book rests on a torn piece of diary paper with childish handwriting. Read the diary. Hi, I'm blank. I found a new home and the nice uncle gave me this cool new book to write in. Our old home was scared by monsters. So we went on a super long journey to find this new place. I asked when mommy and daddy will catch up with me and uncle said really soon. Can't wait for them to join us here. The new place is so sunny and has a huge tree that grows peaches. Not many people from here go to the big city though. I just want mommy and daddy to find me quick. Today is my birthday. Everyone is being really nice saying I'm their lucky charm because I can keep those mean monsters away. I'm really happy and everyone seems to like me lots. We had cake and noodles and I got presents too. It's been forever since I saw mommy and daddy though. Hope they come back, will they come back? This marks my fourth birthday here and our village head made it official. I'm his daughter now. What? But before that, everyone was already being, uh, was already taking care of me and shared with me delicious meals. My father told me I'm a child of the Quanchi village and I should consider myself lucky. I feel really fortunate to be loved by so many people. Even though my powers are still small, I'll do my best to continue protecting the village from being invaded by tacit discords. So this kid can like keep the tacit discords away. Our story begins here. Once upon a time in a peaceful village lived a flock of carefree lambs. So like the villagers, right? In the day they toiled for food. And when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. And the wolves would be the tacit discords. Quite the storyteller, aren't you? Fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. But they always draw from real life, don't they? The same story gets told by many. And each person brings their own spin, their own 
Focus. Right, right. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations. Gotcha. Like us now. Caught in a carefully crafted plot line, a scheme I had no hand in. I don't know if I believe you or not. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> The beginning of your story. So that magistrate led you here to meet me. Senwa? <sighs> no, not Senwa. Such um, a clever Jinsi. move on her part. Jinsi. Okay. The tree branches are loaded with paper slips, each holding a wish from someone. The words on most of the notes were soaked and no longer readable. Read the paper slips. Will this really work? Then I wish I could stand up again. I want money. I want so much money. I can't spend for the rest of my life. Amazing. Thank you, Lord blank. My legs really grew back. What? Mother just died and she left me a sum of money, but I don't want to wish. I don't want my wish to come true with this blank. I want my mother back. I want blank back. Strange. It did make me strong, stronger, but lately I seem to be getting weak again. I can't blank my body without blank. Is it because I haven't sacrificed enough blank? Blank, please, 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 please don't take away my wish. I'll give you anything. Is blank really what we all blank wanted? Are these like cuss words with the blankety blanks? Another crumpled page from a children's book half buried in the mud. One day, a shepherd visited the village. Gotcha. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. The lambs drawn in by his words soon lived in comfort and security but who is the shepherd is scar the shepherd is that the end of your story no quite the opposite the shepherd's arrival is only the beginning from what i'm understanding this didn't happen that long ago though with a wave of his hand the shepherd could grant their every wish okay i don't think that's scar his flock obeyed bowing their heads pleading for better food and shelter they no longer had to struggle for survival, as their once meager lives were replaced with endless luxury. Mm -hmm. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god, praising him and holding him in the highest regard. Well, if somebody's going to give you everything that you want, then why wouldn't you? I mean... What's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? Not yet. Imagine you were one of those lambs facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you bow down and beg for food from your master? Yeah, and you all would too. Don't you even lie. We are all created equal. There should be no hierarchy. Oh, so we agree already. You are right. But the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown complacent. What if it's like, what if this is like a parallel to not just here, like he's telling the story of here, but what if it parallels the magistrate? What if this is like a parallel to Gen C, right? Like what if he's kind of telling the story and it parallels and like Gen C is the wolf in shepherd's clothing and clothing and the people in the city are the sheep, right? So what if it's like, like a cycle, like the same thing's gonna happen in the city that will happen here. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. Maybe that's why he's telling us that sto the story. So what if, what if that's like the case? What if this is like a mini version? Like what is happening in what happened in this village? It's like a mini version of what is actually happen happening in the big city Jin jinjo and jinsi is the wolf in the shepherd's clothing and the people in the city are the sheep right could be we don't know a crumpled page from a children's book silently resting on the ground the lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night, except the one little black lamb. One little black lamb. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. 
And what if we are the black lamb? Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? Nah, usually not. I believe in quid pro quo. Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce, always has been. The world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? Life's not fair. I feel like this story isn't just telling the story of this little village. I feel like this story is telling the premise of the entire thing that's happening in this entire world a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he's just telling us the story of this village. I think the story is super important to the lore of the game of what's actually happening. To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. Okay. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. When they can make someone else bear the price, they all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another selfish desire. Gotcha. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. Like this whole thing wouldn't take this long if it wasn't important to the entire thing that's happening in this world. You found some stains on the wall. As you leaned in closer to look, you can make out some blurry text. Words like monster, witch, banisher, all her faults are written thickly on the wall. A crumpled page from a children's book silently resting on the ground. Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. And then so the flock said, get rid of the black lamb so we could be what, you know, rich and stuff again, right? On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual, but the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Ooh. Suddenly, the once doting God stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the Black Lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the White Lambs did? Killed the Black One or tried to get rid of the Black Lamb? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. See, this is why I think this is Kind of telling you the story about what is going on in this entire world. Let's talk to this psychopath. Scar, what do you got to say for yourself now? Well done. You didn't let any details slip. No, we're just that good. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? That's a good question. Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Okay. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? The shepherd, the white lambs, the black lamb. Who is the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Well, it was the shepherd because he wanted sacrifices, so they kept sacrificing the lambs. It, it couldn't have been the black lamb, or you can't really put the blame on the white lambs. They were just doing what they thought was right, so Indeed, the shepherd. Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. I think so too, I agree with you. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Their lives. They had to sacrifice to get their wishes granted, right? Of course, as always. Life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. 
Here's my final question. What happened to the black lamb? Well, in the story, we didn't know. And I would assume that the white lambs uh, 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 killed the black rush, lamb. Rover, take your Either time. What if what if they just like exiled the black lamb? What is the truth you've uncovered? It was murdered by its flock and the shepherd. It was executed bef because its flock was deceived. Deceived. It survived along with all the other lambs. I don't think it survived. It was executed because the flock was deceived. The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the black lamb was the culprit. Almost there, Rover. Almost there? It wasn't right, was it not right? Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. Okay. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. But who is the black lamb? The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. Okay. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Until it was. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. It was like a game of like Russian roulette or something. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. It's not going to be me. That's what Fearful, they were thinking. Yet greedy. They followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. The black lamb got in their way, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. Okay. That's a, such an interesting story. How do I you love like how that was story, told. Rover. Actually, Scar, I like your story. I'm not going to lie. It, I was engaged. I was listening. I was focused. The art style was amazing. The way it was told was great. He is a great storyteller. I wouldn't mind having him read me a book. I feel that this story, and I almost feel like people are starting to like kind of brushing by it. I feel like this story is more important than what people think. I feel like this story is not just for this village, but the entire world that we're in. That's what I think. I think we might be the black lamb in the story. Not for this village, but for this world. I think that story is setting the stage for everything that is going to happen. And I think we might be the black lamb and we're going to find things out and we're going to try and tell the truth 
and see what's actually happening and we're gonna try to let people know and we're gonna be shunned the people so like yeah i feel like the people that like us and think we're part of this village are gonna shun us down the road like we don't know who we don't know who is playing what role yet but i feel like that story is super important I would keep that story in mind. If you're playing through the story of this game, I would keep that story in mind. I liked your story, Scar. What really happened here, I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed. Uh-huh. The innocent maiden sacrificed and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. Oh, he's crazy, and I love it. All the shepherd I'm had here to for do it. was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Is that why you became a shepherd yourself? A quote-unquote shepherd yourself? Fun answer, but no. Not even close. So he's saying he's not the shepherd. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. Black lamb. lamb. No one who breaks the rules. Yep, I think so too. He who fights too long against dragons becomes a dragon himself. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. I wish he would have done his entire dialogue in that kind of like tone, in that voice. That would have made him come across as really crazy. Well then. Let's that was a good line. Black Lamb is going to end up like you say. That was a great line. Domain expansion. <laughs> oh, it is a domain expansion. <laughs> Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Right now there. is your time to think, Rover. Okay. What is the right path to take? I don't know. How am I supposed to know, Scar? Oh, you found us already. Yes, I'm just that good. Shake and shiver. Blink oh, dear an God. Eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. And I've got a scorchingly delightful. Uh uh uh. Don't rush. Sorry, sorry. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. I didn't mean to rush there, Scar. Didn't mean to cut you off there. This place is crazy and wild. Oh, more peoples. Here we go. Oh, I did not do that very well. I didn't do a good job on that. That was my fault. Here, let's have fun with Encore for a second. Such speed. Such brutality. I know, right, Scar? <laughs> Can't you see? Are you shaking in we your boots, bro? We are spirits after all. Don't be so quick to deny it. Now that I have you here standing before me, I'd love to hear your answers. Dude, this place is wild. It literally is like domain expansion from Jujutsu Kaisen. Bro, what is this place? Ooh. Tell me, do you want oh, to be hey. the rule setting shepherd? Let's go. Or the rule breaking black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the Ow. last one of reason? Ow. Or the sole apostle? Think about it. Bro, the stop shepherd talking. Is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the black lamb can reclaim the oh, trust I tried to dodge. of its herd. Stop then talking! Eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors. Why are you talking so much? We're fighting. We're in the middle of a fight. I can't talk and chew gum in the same time. Or walk and... Behave. That was... I got screwed there. Hey, what's the big idea? I did not see that one coming. Because I'm an idiot. Fight for me. War spares no one. Oh yeah! Kick his ass, Seabass! 
Leave me alone! Ha! Ha! Rover! Rover? Wow. I think I'm hard. Girl. Let's go! Get out of my game, Scar! Get out of my game, bro! <sighs> Yang Yang's back. Hey, where did you go? What happened? Hi, it's so good to see you. Yang Yang, how are you? I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. You shattered Scar's illusion? Oh, should I thank you for showing me mercy? Oh, he's got a card in his hand. Stay away from her. Okay, that line could have been a little bit better. She should have yelled that. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, hi. Ooh, whoa, hi there. Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? Who's that? Is that your girlfriend? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. Oh, I love her voice. Okay, I like her voice. I think her voice is great. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. Perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. It was fun, Scar. Call me again sometime, bro. Give me a call. You got my number. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Yeah, slide into my DMs, dude. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? This has gotten really interesting. The choice is yours. Who is she, though? I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again. In the not too distant future. I hope I hope so. I'm looking forward They're to our gone. second date. Should we go after them? No, who is the female that was there? We didn't get her name. They didn't say what her name is. Her design though, dude, she looked so good. And her voice is really great too. Let's skip it for now. Never mind. Are you alright? Um, are you okay? Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Are you though? Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. So he like put you in like a little jail cell? It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. Don't be sorry. If only I could have reached you sooner. Nah, it's okay. It's not your fault. I broke free from it all thanks to you. You are safe now. That's all I care about. I broke free. My, yeah, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> Brother. 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 Brother? Huh? Why are you here, little one? Yeah, it probably went hiding out of fear. I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be? Be Scar? Brother? Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before. Let's talk about it later. Rover, can you fill me in on what happened? I can try. You told Yang about what happened in the leads you've it gathered. Seems all the tragedies in Tichi Village were linked to that ritual. Yeah. And Scar was feeding me bits of info. And, and you had to ruin it by coming along. Based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. I don't think he was making it up, though. I don't think make, he says he was making up stories based on real life to support his twist belief. I think he was just trying to tell a story in a way that was interesting and we could understand a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like, I liked it. I don't think he made that up at all. I mean, I get what she's saying. Like, oh, she he could have just said, oh, there was this person that did that and didn't have to mention like sheep and lambs and stuff. But that just made it more interesting to me. We cannot take his words for granted. Now... 
we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Why? 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 I believe him. I'm not taking his words for granted. I believe Scar. Why? He has. He doesn't have a reason to lie to me. Right? And plus he said that we're like, they know who we are and they know that we're a valuable person. Do you know what I'm saying? But he left us there. It's not like he tried to kidnap us or anything. He just gave us information so we could choose what we're going to do. Do you know what I'm saying? We should give it a check. If he, if we're so valuable, he didn't try to kidnap us. He's given us our free will right now. Nothing. Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. You see I what? I feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. In the south? South of where? Senwa's here! They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you She's anticipated, Scar did to the not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. She's talking to the magistrate. Is everything all right on your end? Is she Please back in sure town to yet? safe, my lady. Senwa, I like her. Her design is really cool. I wish she had a little more color, but Rover, I do like her design. Do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one yes. broken in half. Yes, yes Yang Yang. As I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. All right, let's go. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. Okay. New item, wooden plaque, right. New item, restored wooden plaque. So now we're to activate the mechanism to complete the wooden plaque. All right, let's go. You place the wooden plaque on the stone soon after you. I can't read that fast, man. I cannot read that fast. Look, the water is going down. Okay. Why? It's I a. I can't believe it. There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. Did Scar do this? I don't know if Scar did this or not. Given his powers, it doesn't seem too hard for him. Well, maybe he did. All right, what's going on down here? That tree. That's so pretty. It's stunning. Yes. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please. What do you want me to do? What can I do Are to you save you? To tell us about something hidden here. What's hidden? Today, a strange man came to our village. He said I can call him my brother, if I don't mind. He was really friendly, but for some reason, he felt different from the people in my village. He seemed to know a lot about me, and he even said we were of the same kind. He told me a really strange fairy tale. Sounds like Scar. The ending of the fairy tale was kind of scary, but in reality, but reality was even scarier, he said. He then asked, what would you do if you were the little black lamb? That is Scar. Before I could think of a reply, he had already left with a cryptic, see you next time. I told father about it, but he said no one like that had ever visited our village. Who could he be? Sorry, I'm so sorry. If only I weren't so weak, I could have driven away those tacit discords. If Sissy didn't have to protect me, there must be a way. Father said I can manipulate the frequency of tacit discords and humans. Sissy, I'm so sorry. You look like this now. It's only temporary. I'll do everything I can to return you to what you were before. I know you can still hear me. Father promised me he'll surely find a way to help. It's been three months since that incident. Father doesn't seem to remember I'm still keeping a diary. He gave me the note. He gave the notebook to me. But if he found out I'd been writing about everything, he'd be so mad. He orders me to do what he says and use my powers to recombine frequencies of tacit discords. But if anyone finds out about the truth, that sissy who went missing actually died trying to protect me, and then I turned her into a horrifying tacit discord. They will see me as a monster. I will be banished and no one will ever understand or accept me for what I can do. No one except him. You're talking about Scar. 
But will the dead really come back through frequency manipulation? And if so, what would happen to their shattered souls trapped inside their new bodies? I really don't know. Every day, I feel more and more uneasy. The people in the village are disappearing, and those tacit discords father has brought back. Um, I can't shake the feeling that something is very wrong, but I'm trapped. Like a moth to a flame, unable to escape this dark path. I don't know what my father did. It must have been something terrible for the tension and unease here. I'm not allowed outside anymore, and when I ask why, he just brushes it off. If the price for my wish to come true is more bloodshed, I... No date. The villagers have surrounded our house. They must have learned about it all. The murderer. Is that what they call me now? Or perhaps my father too? At this point, what difference does it make? After all that has happened, can someone come and save me? If I must pay the price for Chishay Village, if there is a god, I hope they can save my village. At the end of the last diary entry, you see a message in another writing. It seems you are the luckier one. Ooh, that's interesting. But, but did, what, if, what if the girl that was with Scar is this person? What if Scar came back and rescued this person, right? And the girl that was with him is this girl that could manipulate tacit discords and things like that. That could be the case. We don't know. A diary. That's interesting. All right, Yang Yang. That girl just wanted to save her village, but those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. No, they didn't. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. Where are you going? It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Cold? Are you freezing? Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. Why? The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. Yeah, I agree. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The Probably person both. who pushed her towards such a tragic end. Maybe she went with Scar. Maybe Scar showed up and took her away. Could have been. My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. It's okay, I understand. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. Okay. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. I trust you. I'm with you. Do we though? Like, I don't know. We, we just don't know what's actually happening yet. So it's hard to pick a side. Like I said, we just got here. I trust you. I'm with you. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Okay. Yes. Let's go back together. All right, let's go. And we're off again. Act three, man. Dude, Scar is amazing. I love Scar's character. There's a There was a lot that happened in that act with the story, um, the, the sheep and stuff like that. Like I said, I think it parallels with what is actually happening in this entire world. Scar's character is great. Who is the girl that showed up and was with her? Was it like his sister, somebody above him and I like the order of clear. the organization that they're part of? Like, what is their deal? We don't know. And I'm excited to find out more. Um, he said that we're really valuable. So it kind of makes me feel like people are trying to get us on their side to use us. But Scar didn't do that. If Scar knew we were such a valuable commodity, why didn't he just show up and try to kidnap us? That is not what he did. He just gave us information so we could choose what we wanted to do. 
I like that aspect of it. But Yang Yang felt I see my way clear. Kind of possessive. I'm getting into this story a lot more. That was a good act. I enjoyed that one. The last two were really good. Mm -hmm.